Hello Ninja Empire and welcome to another character speed paint episode. Today we're going to be going over another Patreon character creation. This was actually the very first Patreon ninja creation that I made. And the reason why I started with this second was because I felt the kickoff should definitely be with the Chandra representation ninja character that I will link in the card. Because it was the very first full on digital illustration that I ever did. And so now, as you can see here, I started off with a sketch that I had did in pencil previous to importing it into the computer and then inking it and coloring it in Photoshop. Now, that is generally the way that I do things. I am transitioning over to digital and I have Ninja Empire to thank for that. So I'm going to be doing a lot more digital representation from start to finish. And um, this is probably gonna be the last one that I do, or maybe not, I don't know. But I'm gonna be moving more towards digital um, in the future. So with this character, if you don't know, over on my Patreon, there is a tier where every month you get entered into a raffle and then you are able to submit either a character design or a character description or something that will allow me to draw a ninja based on that. And this one, the description was, how about a character that deals with lightning? <laughs> <laughs> and so it really wasn't a lot to go off of, which actually is pretty cool because it allows me to go wherever I want to let my mind wander and do pretty much anything I want. And so for this character, I made them a little bit more robotic in nature. So, she, you know, she's got a robotic arm and the legs, you know, it's just like a big uh, fighting android really trying to come up with an idea of how would this person conduct electricity because I didn't want to go the traditional route and go, oh, this one's magic, you know, and done, which I've done in the past and will probably more than likely do in the future as well. But for this one, I was going more, okay, how can I show that this character actually is conducting and creating this electricity? And I'm hoping that with the robotic arm and metallic legs that really comes across and I thought it would be really cool if there was a lot of metallic parts because what's going to happen is that it conducts off of said parts you know so if you know you'll start seeing like this uh, elbow part is actually a conductor for the electricity and I'm assuming that later on in, in this character's story that you know, once we get to a point where it's like, oh, I got to go to the next level or I'm, I'm delivering such a powerful hit, you'll start seeing it conduct off of the legs and off the arms and out of the eyes, you know, and it's really going to start showing the energy and the power that is within this character. Now, as per usual, I do not have a name for this character. So if, <laughs> if you want to drop a name for this lightning female ninja, please do. I have no idea. Like I, like I said, I have absolutely no idea what I should call this character. And there wasn't really a lot to go off of. So feel free to drop me a comment with the name. I'll gladly use it. And if anyone really sticks out, then that's what we'll call this character. Now, I was trying to go with more earth tones with this character. Because if you know me and my work, it's it's either really dark dark or it's really bright bright <laughs> and so i really wanted to try and get something that represented more of an earth tone and earth feel and then really bring out the electricity part of it trying to tie in the whole mother nature and it's bound to the earth even though this is all being created by some type of electric current or robotic you know means so it's all science science and nature kind of working together which i thought was an interesting idea as far as the character design goes and then of course you know when it comes to the color also throwing in something very complimentary which is that red and orange hair you know to to try and tie everything together but still give it that oomph you know that's something interesting to it as far as color goes because you don't want everything to just kind of blend together and all just be one tone Unless, of course, that is kind of what you're going for, you know, if your character sticks back in the background and you're not trying to have them stick out. 
but I assume someone who has the power of electricity was really gonna want to stick out or should stick out for that nature, for that matter. And so that's kind of what I went with. And it's like, oh, we're gonna really make her you know, like fire red hair. So when you saw her, you'd be like, oh, this person probably controls fire, right? Because of the hair, she's got a lot of it and it's really bright, but then it completely switches, not completely, because you know, you can go from fire to lightning as a jump, but I think that it would throw you off the first time you saw this character to go, oh, well, there's a lot of red hair and you've got these earth tones, so it's probably fire. And then to get the next level, which is, you know, you get hit with a lightning bolt or something like that. Now, you probably see the fact that I only have like one, one arm, but in the sketch there was another arm. And what I'm doing there is because I knew that I was going to actually put in a very big effect. Like this arm is going to be creating electricity. So it's coming out through the arm and forming the sword, which you'll, you'll start seeing. So because see here right now, I'm like, okay, I got to go ahead and put in this color. And all it is is the base shape. Like, what am I going to do? Because I knew that I was going to do an effect, right? I knew that I was going to make it... Uh, have some type of electricity behind it. And so now all I'm gonna do is take that form and I'm really gonna hit it with screen, which is something that I love doing. It gives me a little bit more control. I know a lot of people do color dodge, but I'm a screen person. And uh, what it allows me to do is actually make this nice glow effect. And I pull the uh, lightning and electricity out of it from there. And so then this character really comes together I think by here's my metallic you know arm even though most of it's metallic but I still have a hand that's human you know it's like really pushing on that android uh, kind of fighter ability and then the earth tones and stuff like that so I think this character came together pretty well and I hope that you enjoy it and we'll see you at the next video Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't yet, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support the Ninja Empire, please consider going over to my Patreon page. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please click on any of the videos that you see. Also, if you'd like to see a more behind the scenes look at what I do on a daily day basis, please head on over to my vlog channel. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the next video.